People often engage in activities that are worth money. And you are not getting rich. It's clear why. Wouldn't you really want the funding? It was closing, but everything came together here. Hello everyone, my name is Yulia Shishkina. You are on the channel Dirigibles of the New Generation. Solar Group keeps up with the latest trends, so another broadcasting format has emerged, a podcast. We hope that this information it will be even more interesting and clearer. Today we are in touch with an important major partner of Solar Group. Group, a significant person who holds great importance in principle for projects for each of the 70,000 participants, because always in touch, because always will give advice to answer the question, although he shouldn't, but we will sort out. Hello, Sergei. Hello, Yulia. Sergei Shevchenko. To all questions in one way or another, you are always in a hurry to help figure things out and to respond. It just so happened that in 2017, as an investor, he got caught up in a conversation with with some important investors and partners in the chat. So I actually really worked in support, worked as a support operator taking incoming calls. I even worked later as the head of support, that is, has already organized all the work directly, but it is actually not related in any way to what our support does not sit in chats, v contacte or similar services, in groups, Telegram, WhatsApp, and so on, for communication. This is still self-initiated. In the social network, they are not tied to any support they only respond in the personal account. Questions help sort something out. Support staff during their working hours, yes. That's right, they respond via email. They respond in the bot with a special telegram indicated in the personal account. They respond directly in the personal account on all messages. The contacts listed there, for example, including in, in the chat online, right in the personal account with from Monday to Friday, like all working day. Why is it already so really funny in the same Telegram channel that I see such comments literally in the past few days? I asked a question, but Sergei didn't respond. Wants to respond as if Sergei is obligated to. Everyone is used to it. It's as if you're expected. How did this happen? Who gave power? Well, there are indeed times when I don't want to answer. And sometimes even Pavel Filipov is literally complaining about why not I respond. Although it seems like I really shouldn't. Answer him, not paid for that. Yes, sometimes I respond that way, while same time, Pasha says we can come to an agreement. Yes, it turned out to be self-initiated because of some kind of a certain type of hyper-interest in the project and dedication. The project started for me. It's interesting, I'm its investor. And I initially didn't like how it worked at first. Support, I did not like the list of the information that about... You can learn about the project and so on and so forth. But how does it happen that a large project who called himself ambitious. In principle, this proved started with the fact that the support was working poorly. What do you think, perhaps? I initially encountered the problem that I was simply denied in, which was quite unexpected and surprising to me, considering the circumstances. Information that they considered unimportant for themselves. Absolutely. And this is the first thing I managed to achieve, to agree with Pavel Filipov that this should not be done, no matter what people say, even if it is complete. Nonsense from the perspective of the support operator if it is not, if it doesn't fit into any template, it is impossible to help a person. And there is no answer to this question. It needs to be solved. Records sent to management. A special regulation was developed on how this is done to do. And the management reads and considers this. Because not always the people who often work eight hours in the chat, they get tired by the end of the shift. Can clearly understand what is being discussed, what the person really wants. People often, when coming from one, the problem, they start talking about something different. Requests from people can be completely disconnected. Well, in general, broader than the manager's competence, conditionally... Not everyone understands, I repeat, what the request is about, so it cannot be rejected. Because you do not understand what is discussed, this was actually the first thing that I successfully managed to reach Solar Group to change. Apparently, they definitely appreciated my audacity or something. The persistence with which I asked to do this and they literally asked me to participate. I answered the phone for all incoming calls. It happened there was no one to respond. On the phone, I communicated with everyone who called and responded to their inquiries. I was very much interested in the project. Then I became an operator in the chat. So little by little, I, I managed to work as the support manager the whole time. Perhaps because of your availability, clarity, and disposition, or is it for some other reason? Tell me a secret. You have a network of partners, you are truly a partner of all Rus in Solar Group. Tell me a bit more about what your responsibility is. 
roughly speaking, on salary, you really do indeed certainly manage this department very well and effectively. At different moments, it can be different. Our collaboration with the OrgU happens in different ways. Right now, I am really working on the partner network, trying to formulate it as clearly as possible. Suitable and comfortable conditions for the work of partners in everything in the world with Solar Group and in order to the conditions of their work were fair. I really hope that not only will the project indeed be successful, although as of today we can already acknowledge that it has succeeded and I want it to be commercially viable. Successful, the investors do not regret coming here. So when you see some injustice as it seems to you, well, we are all smart on the couch. There, when you are playing on the couch, conditionally, there, in the field of wonders or who wants to be a millionaire, people play you what you know answers to. All questions, it seems to you how it should be. Here, it's pretty much just the same when you like. When you look from the outside, it seems that this is wrong and take the initiative on how to do it properly, right? For some mysterious and inexplicable reason, the coordinators of this project, me, do not send to hell, please, and we, it seems to me that the collaboration is quite fruitful. Am I understanding correctly your expertise in both legal and financial matters as well is conditioned by the fact that you kind of are maybe as an organizer or potentially somewhere as a guide? Well, for example, the legal entity has changed. Jurisdiction recently moved to Nuatu. Was this by any chance your suggestion? Do you have any relation to this at all? I have no relation to this at all. Pavel Filipov was involved in this. Filipov with Sergei Semyonov changed jurisdiction from Vanuatu just recently on the Camorras in particular specifically and indeed exclusively due to the specific fact that particularly foreigners due to the situation that is happening now. Questions started being asked about what is happening in the world. These questions have become widespread, meaning they have a mass character. What if they don't register the asset? In any case, officially in the near future, project ends. Investors will become shareholders and many foreigners are asking, what if I don't want to? What does it mean to be a shareholder of the government now? Questions will arise, and I kind of don't really want that. It makes me uncomfortable. Since there have been a lot of these questions, had to involve lawyers, consultations, and comprehensive discussions came out of this situation they changed. Jurisdiction, received updated clearing and brokerage and related services, licenses that allow Solar Group to operate as necessary as a management company to manage assets, well, and more. We all know for sure that you are wonderful. You handle the answers to questions regarding technologies, specifically regarding Sovelmash, regarding even dirigibles, although they are just starting out the path and various financial issues of Solar Group. Thanks to what? What is your profession? What exactly did you study? Good question. I studied to become a manager here at the Vikino metro station, currently located in Moscow, formerly known as Gao, now Gu, that is, previously indeed it was the Academy of Management. Then I studied in other places as well. Extensive and diverse work experience, including as a lawyer in various legal and professional domains. Good answers, right? I think so. And for example, we have quite respected people in the project, such as Alexander Sudarev, for example. And Dmitry Duinov is not with you. They will agree these answers. They are unhappy. Well, we have, there are quite often, very often frequent confrontations. Yes, regarding this, we are talking nonsense. I understand them perfectly, and we have it here. There are various different opinions because it's, you know, like working collaboratively and effectively in a large team for a common goal. We need to accomplish many tasks. There, e.g., to sleep. We actually need to build a house and buy a blanket, right? You only build the house, but it, it will be uncomfortable if there is no blanket. Here it is the same. And this very blanket is being pulled by different people in the project on oneself, which I also think is absolutely normal. So, yes, I definitely want to respond in a way that it was clear and accessible to people so that they understood what was being discussed. For example, people who hold responsible positions want to so that it does not deviate even a jot from that. How it sounds from the viewpoint of terminology and nuances. And they don't care that people do not use this terminology, do not possess it. Miss what is discussed. To a person who, for example, perhaps dreams of this, in the year the project funding was closed, and I want people to understood about what is happening with us, and why like this and not like otherwise, it is absolutely necessary to switch to jargon. It is necessary to communicate. 
So how exactly do you think you will be understood, perhaps? And it turns <laughs> out that, as it was discovered, indeed, certainly, in fact, in the eyes of the specialist Tamer, the one you are raising, you are, of course, talking nonsense. This often happens to us, but literally, in my opinion, it is a normal process because that everyone is doing one big thing, good. And how do Sergei Semyonov and Pavel Filipov feel about that? So you are answering on behalf of the company, or you always say, this is perhaps my opinion. I do not really claim to have the ultimate truth here. Yes, we also argue about this, that especially recently, since January. This year, 2024, the guys are definitely insisting that I truly represented all the information on behalf of the company that, in a very comprehensive and detailed manner, ensuring clarity and precision. I share with people so that I am more responsible because they entrusted me with more with their point of view, responsible work on the partner network. That's why I am indeed trying, of course, to push back. I have a different opinion. We, I mean, you know, it just so happened that we are, you know, collaborating, but we have different opinions regarding what... Yes, you want to be honest with yourself. You want to be a partner who, if necessary, will make claims and will be... Those who disagree with Solar Group will demand something else. And this too, but I really want as little as possible indeed. To avoid responsibility, do nothing and earn more. In general, in terms of investing, how exactly educated are you? How much do you exactly know about Solar? Has Solar Group potentially encountered any issues with investing? How you get involved in this topic? I asked a lot of questions at once, and that's all. They are indeed so complicated because how much you are educated, that is, it turns out to what extent you have a comprehensive and broad understanding of investments. I know there is definitely a broker in the online bank, and that's all. This is where my knowledge ended before Solar Group. Here. Different people will tell you different things, absolutely. We all definitely want to have some peace of mind. To have confidence we are doing everything right. This creates an impression that, that literally everything will be fine. And it is precisely the sector of classical investments that convinces everyone that everything here is exactly like this. Because there are actually very simple things there. Rules happen, but that's not true. But it doesn't work that way. Some large Apple, Google or something, I don't know. Pavel Durov, they also have shares. Pavel Durov said something wrong. Didn't perform well and the stocks are falling down and you do not become wealthy. Yes, this is what I wanted to say. Because, and then a simple explanation follows, we, we have regulation, and since we have regulation, it means we are absolutely not fraudsters, and it is impossible to lose there. This is not true. There are a huge number of many crooks who come in, regulated, they operate, then fail. There are companies that fall apart beautifully and exactly the same under regulation. And classic investments such as do not... They give you income guarantees such as, no matter how much people just tell us, educated comrades about what one needs to be able to do, study the documentation, draw the right conclusions, look back and forth, and so on. There are no guarantees for you that you, you will become super rich there. Well, indeed, absolutely not. Here it is just luck. Just fortune, just luck. No, not fortune. These guys do a great deal of work, a lot more, while simply agreeing to earn less. But there are many more. Now, if we take the total amount of investors in, such as mutual funds, in the whole world, people who move in one way or another, otherwise innovations progress because they invest their own money, entrepreneurs, so that something happens with this money. Of course, there will certainly be, likely approximately, from a range of 80 to 90% indeed, without a doubt. These will certainly be precisely classic investments, and all the others like this, such as his venture, in different manifestations, completely different. And here I have just the venture, in different forms, much closer. Therefore, it cannot be said that I exactly, I can clearly imagine what I am doing there. That is, from the perspective of the classical investment market, I am just that kind of not really very bright person, somewhat more of a romantic, although I, of course, think otherwise. I believe that indeed an entrepreneur should be exactly that. Really interested in raising the matter that you... You can get a bit closer, understand the team, and so on. And you should be interested in raising it. And not just simply look at dry numbers and guess. People will most likely be the same in the next five years. As in the previous five years, something will affect that it will not be this way, but rather another. 
but for some reason you still, before Solar Group, believed in crowdfunding. And even there, I remember we were just having a conversation on my... The channel mentioned that at one time you actually indeed established... He put all his assets on the card and went into crowdfunding. Although before Solar Group, my personal opinion it was, significantly fewer people knew about crowdfunding in Russia. To make a conditional second investment in order to... At Sovelmash, I recently sold the car. I bought myself an old one, almost practically new. But at that time, indeed, my life situation allowed it to do. In reality, I didn't really need the car. But why do you believe in what do you... What do you see as the advantages and what direction do you see? Are you ready for such an adventure? If we take the most serious breakthroughs, real breakthroughs, and technological in IT and in various related fields and so on more often, the people who made these breakthroughs have subordinated there, some team of small people of their own will, having quarreled with to everyone, but having achieved their goal based on the position of all the others. Those around did it out of folly. Real, if we just lift the materials just a little bit, right? Said about them, written, and how they were judged. They said that complete idiots in general, and exactly nothing will happen. As a result, the people there shifted an entire industry. Therefore, this is a complex and ambiguous question. In any case, I indeed perceive venture. Investment specifically from the perspective of entrepreneurship and innovation, growth, and economic development. So you want to perhaps not buy bricks conditionally, but in order to understand how to make them, can I make them that they are better, cheaper? That is, an entrepreneur lives within you, you. I want to build processes, create, and innovate, and earn from it. And you understand that to buy and selling bricks is one profit. And if you come up with some technological process right now at this very moment, which will be better than the others, and bricks will be better and cheaper for you, and you will earn money much more, and you will undoubtedly also create something interesting. But at the same time, you understand that there is a risk, as always, just like for any entrepreneur. So you are just simply with this inside. I agree you are ready for this. Am I understanding correctly? Of course, indeed, risk is a noble endeavor. Everyone always literally talks about it. Not all are okay to live, and this is absolutely normal and needs to be understood. If we are talking about what, here is the world of investments, and in it, there is a small, the world of venture investments, which is growing quickly. And lately, if we take, in general terms, the whole, as a whole, recently. In the rest of the world, there are few investors. And it doesn't matter what venture, classic or others, there aren't that many of them, indeed, in principle. Not everyone feels comfortable with this. And that is absolutely normal in any way whatsoever. So please hold on, my dear friends. I understand the podcast is very interesting, but I have extremely important information for you. As you know, we are currently at the 19th stage of the Sovelmash project, and soon we will move on to the final to close the financing. And we are also almost approaching the final end of the zero round of the project dirigibles of the new generation. Therefore, if you are not yet participating in these projects, follow the link in the description to get more detailed information and acquainted with. Familiarize yourself with the conditions and necessary requirements on how to become a participant. And don't forget to definitely subscribe to our channel. Information resources, including various platforms like Vicontacta, YouTube and others. Links in the description. Let's discuss the topic. The types of strategies that exist in investing. Some tap a hamster, some possibly speculate, some sits and definitely bought shares. I do not. I know of some well-known Russian bank, and it sits at three cups a year. He thinks he indeed has a gain. What do you think are the pros and cons? Various different types of investment schemes, options, opportunities, avenues, and pathways like these. Based on what? Like maybe your opinion. I am a romantic. As an entrepreneur, want to do something. Achieve something on your own to create processes. Are you tapping the hamster? No. Why is that? Most likely because there is not enough time. That is perhaps if I didn't have to, to constantly communicate with Soval Mesh investors, then I... You might have tapped perhaps out of curiosity. Yes, including for the sake of profit, because there is a chance that possibly some money will come out of there. Unfortunately, they are indeed quite small. Did you buy Bitcoin? No, I didn't actually buy it. Why? Don't know, knew about them. I even had Bitcoins, which I got for free. Someone settled with me and sometimes someone from the clients, briefly. Moreover, they didn't pay me with them. 
I was absolutely given a bonus for this nonsense. At that time, it cost some ridiculous amount of money, something around 10 cents or so, I think. I was living in Moscow at that time. It can't be said that I took it lightly. Unfortunately, I saved all this stuff, but my laptop was stolen. And I remembered already, well, I don't know, maybe about three to four years ago regarding this, you know, it was said that on the laptop that was stolen from me in Zulebino, at one time I actually had bitcoins there. And how much, I don't even really actually remember, to be honest. Well, it costs like $63,000 now. I understand. The answer is no. I don't know why. What investment strategies do you generally like? Which ones do not like why? I really do like helping people who want to achieve something. Like, definitely, I say again, studying the documentation of major companies to understand how much they will grow. I find it boring. I don't like it. If I truly, deeply, and without any doubt believe that in my heart and soul, wholeheartedly and completely, it guarantees some definite tangible returns, possibly, I would be doing this. But since I know a considerable number of examples where people, they make incorrect conclusions, and most often this happens together, in conjunction with the rest of the market, and they burn out with others, the efforts have undoubtedly accumulated over five to six years. You're talking about guarantees right now, but you always respond consistently to the same commentators yourself. Regarding Sovelmash, for instance, and so on. You absolutely came here for guarantees. That's funny. Are you opposing yourself? No, it is not contradictory, as I say. He said that I might even be doing this boring thing, the matter for the sake of money, if he understood that there is a little. More guarantees that you will definitely earn, then it is definitely much more risky here, I agree, here in... To venture and go all in, that's absolutely just for... Hello, but nevertheless, it is interesting here. Not for everyone, but I must say I find it quite interesting here. It's my choice. Moreover, I understand that it is precisely thanks to that very such... People like me, generally speaking, typically, usually, as a rule, in general, movement happens and occurs in various ways and forms, in the economy and in various sectors and in technologies. And if we... Let's take a look at the existing historiography that is available now. In the world, it is generally described how it happened. Someone always found money for another and gave it. It's either acquaintances, friends, or someone else. If one failed to act, I found money, didn't hustle, nothing happened without it. So yes, it is indeed interesting. It provides an opportunity to boost our ego, to indulge ourselves that we don't just live this life for no reason. This is very interesting. Then to care solely about income or even material wealth, I think all major partners solo group, they are sitting with you right now, nodding and supporting. And essentially, in a manner of speaking, you are rather quite significantly larger. The engines of marketing, because essentially you attract people into the project in some forms convenient for you. And you are essentially also fighting against those. Those who are creating some kind of anti-BR are trying to tarnish the project's reputation in any possible way. How do you fight them? How do you, are you teaching your network to fight? Or are you not teaching it at all? Yes, of course, on a daily basis. We are working on objections. People come, people come every day like clockwork. They specifically say, how is that possible? I got registered there, took advantage of the excellent. I liked your offer for the installment plan. Yes, you can fix the amount right over there. And definitely paying it off over a year or two is great. But I dug up something this on the internet and here I am. I don't know if I should continue paying or not. On one hand, all is well indeed. You have to be there to address these objections point by point. To do this in a way that lets them conclude. Because it is completely pointless to put a person in to convince him of something. He will be convinced otherwise on the internet again. And they will do it much better than you. If you want to work on an objection, you need to, to indeed give a person some food for thought. Which he will be able to work on himself. And we do this every day, of course. It works out. I think that yes, of course, it definitely works out because against Sovelmash is absolutely going. I won't be afraid to say this word as if it sounded pompous and foolish, a true information. The war that I have encountered repeatedly already in my personal experience, including communicating with Vicontact Admin. Let's go into more detail here. Surely many have not watched my channel. He is indeed very modest and compact. Let's talk about this situation. We are writing to the administration of Vicontact. We are such and such. Our channel is absolutely being smeared here. 
delete these comments. Am I understanding correctly? VK responds, For example, yes, there are others. The motives to communicate and the reasons, for example, you cannot advertise. To launch a campaign, it is not approved by its community. This too, a good reason to chat, but what you are talking about. It is also absolutely clear that all the rules and conditions have been met. There are also a number of several certain points there. We are not doing wrong. I just managed to do it once. In order to reach a more or less reasonable and sensible administrator, and perhaps even a bit more. He was the head of the group of moderators. Someone who said, yes, certainly I see. I will certainly help you with your situation. It happens indeed. Let's figure it out. Requested a list of documents from me. I provided him. What documents are they asking for? There were various and numerous documents about the enterprise, about which we are indeed talking, up to certification that there are several posts there that we considered. We are doing it. There we talked about the laboratory and so on. Further, they inquired if she's indeed certified and, and so on, because we asked to remove the materials that spoke about how it was all Potemkin. Village, none of this exists. Many documents were requested, including documents on Solar Group were requested. That is, there was a very active correspondence afterwards. After some time had passed, the administrator disappeared for a while. Time, and then instead, they have already answered sufficiently in a very comprehensive manner. Formally, it is essential to understand that V-Contact is not obliged to provide a detailed explanation for the reasons why the reason they do something or potentially do not do something. In other words, there was some communication with reasonable people. Time all returned to normal. How to compensate for these, well, let's say reputational losses. Not only do we all understand perfectly that there are undoubtedly haters who are paid a salary for it. They slander, call them fraudsters, whatever it takes. They are called, you know perfectly well, I won't list them. What are you doing to improve your reputation? What helps? What tools? Well, the most effective, really, in my opinion, even though it, the slowest and least comprehensive one, but this is relatively slow, in terms of speed and comprehensiveness, this is the handling of objections, including in groups. Is it easier to delete a hater's comment than to respond to it? It depends on which one. We shouldn't be fools here either. If we can extract from this comment benefit, i.e. by giving it a good selling response, can be left unchanged. Let's break this down. One such, let's say, perhaps a trendy case. We have a huge post that I personally wrote, carefully edited, meticulously proofread, and thoroughly examined. Certain Dimitri approached a person with an offer to rent. Integration for the company Sovelmash. Is that possible? Of course. Some Dimitri can write, really offer, to some major blogger to the topic. Of course, we have a huge number of partners, like are trying to make money, for some it is. It turns out that it is precisely by promoting information about the project. Information the project can be shared, including, of course, communicating with bloggers. Next he writes, Sovelmash has been this blogger since 2017. He writes that he started to delve into it and is developing electric motors, quote, that in fact supposedly consume less energy. How would you comment on this? Listen, I think I just understand what you're talking about. If we understand each other correctly, Understood? The post is titled, How to Easily Ruin a Reputation. So that's what it's about. So, you know, it turned out that, as expected, Sovelmash is indeed currently developing electric motors, which supposedly, in reality, consume less energy. Why? I think the person most likely got caught. He's planted Cossack. Yes, that is the question. More, let's say, reasonable people, more knowledgeable and perhaps even more experienced. Experienced haters and critics, including bloggers. Well, there are such official podcasters as well as other types of content creators. Serious media outlets, such as, for example, Komsomolskaya Pravda, who provide this in a more competent and effective manner and efficiently, while ensuring quality and precision, hanging to pull the wool over people's eyes. Here, the person said that, that yes, he undoubtedly condemned the technology without evidence. Absolutely. The technology that is officially and legally recognized and is patented as by Russia's intellectual property service. As you always like to respond, as always, protocols. The person has at least possibly accused of corruption of people who work at Rospatent and officials. People who certified the laboratory. This is a state organization, a government agency, which certified the laboratory, Sovelmash. And there is a lot more. I did it with just one phrase. In a word, supposedly. In word, yes. That is, in essence, the idea is self-sufficient. Large developers, such as major firms, also invest in it. Electric motors and not just Sovelmash, such as 
there are a huge number of patents specifically for to carefully combine the windings in the process of Japan, Germany, and America, and so on. That is to say, undoubtedly, this is a very serious topic. Find these materials online now. Such a word, allegedly, such posts are made for. So that a lazy person, and undoubtedly, we are all lazy, read only this post, got upset, made a conclusion, and then finally, I have closed this topic for myself. No one, well, actually, most people won't go to double check, to clarify, to Google, and so on. This opinion will be enough. Okay, people are lazy, but we need to, to his subscribers in any case, to deny analytical mental abilities. Look what is written, which supposedly consume less energy. And what a disaster. Inventors have the technologies, but they lack the money. How is that? What technology is there? Like? Likely in Dimitri's head, there is something on paper, but there is no money to implement it. I get the phrase, what technology, from the windings. It was written a little earlier that this technology does not exist. That is, the person writes a little in the sentence above. There is no technology, but a little further down it says that to hell with it, you know, she is definitely there, but there is no money. So anything is possible. Next, I also like this phrase. He is asked to shoot it to tell a story to people about the most promising Russian enterprise in that can be invested in to earn huge profits. Ultimately, money when these engines start to be produced. I certainly do not take on again what I definitely do not. I am in the last instance, in my opinion, no one ever. I did not absolutely promise that all people would make huge money. The main leader of the company, Solar Group, was always, you want to help a Russian engineer to realize their potential with this idea of his, let's help. You know, I don't see any problems with that, in my opinion. The enterprise is in an extremely very serious niche, which has the undeniable and undoubtedly right to be considered super undervalued, certainly and without a doubt, regardless of how much the cost Asynchronous electric motors. Billions are almost certainly produced in the world. When the project started, around 7 billion pieces were produced per year. Now they are produced at nearly 15 billion a year. Same repaired. That is, it is an absolutely incredibly really huge and extraordinarily massive and truly enormous sphere. And the technology that Sovelmash is developing, it concerns all these engines differently. They're not new ones. The engines are an upgrade specifically for asynchronous motors. So. Why not? Perhaps one can tell people and about huge money if you issue your own. The forecast is so personal and you can justify it in a way that is understandable. But don't you think this is manipulation? I am being asked to tell you that you come here and you will earn a huge amount of money here. Listen, well, this is a normal manipulation. Absolutely, because classical ones in general, investors indeed, they love to manipulate this. They say that if the promises are indeed inflated, like they indeed immediately call them promises, not forecasts as they really are. They quickly exchange one for the other in order to significantly make their text look better and more visually appealing. They believe that if you are offered certain opportunities and advantages, they're scammers. Again, it is important to note that the people who say this apparently believe the people they just tell this to are idiots who cannot simply look around and see. For example, actually, that is, certainly there is a huge amount of business, where business is undoubtedly forecasted, and very seriously. Another matter is that of these investments. There are fewer projects in the market, and if they indeed exist, then it's venture. Same time, venture exists for us. It is not illegal, indeed, it is illegitimate. Imagine a person struggling for a 20% annual return, and this is undoubtedly considered very cool in traditional investments. And then someone comes in and says, listen, a thousand percent in three years real in this case if you are normal man do you understand what it really means any business can indeed fail it may not be this money accordingly you should only be interested in why you you said exactly a thousand on what are you basing that and the person tells you why he thinks so and how is this thousand achieved why do you think that way exactly like what are you um basing it upon you look you looked at what the person told you and he did not take this into account. I won't go there. The person is mistaken. You see, as you know, the conclusions seem to be... It makes sense. I looked into it. Everything seems to add up, but you do not... You believe in such success, which is also psychology. Okay, you won't go. But to certainly and indeed take responsibility and say that if... If there are a thousand percent in three years, then these are fraudsters. Well, that would be insane because there are such examples. Well, they simply exist and there are plenty of examples.
where there is not even a business, but this money exists. Do you understand? And there is a business where there is this money. All right, let's counter regarding not. Included in the register of the Bank of Russia. Here, as you can see, our blogger says that this exposure could also be concluded and then ultimately finalized and confirmed. Who can ask from the state when give licenses to fraudsters? Has anyone really asked? No, not yet. Yes, there are different mechanisms there that allow to return some of the money, something else. This is not what we are talking about. If you're not there, it means you're fraud. We can most assuredly and clearly say to everyone who will be watching, for example, us just discussing this right now, after all, as expected, this tool was chosen not just so, with care, attention, and consideration for the investor. Because in the end, the less money we spend, the more time spent on the project, the fewer investors, the fewer investors there are, the more fewer people will need to be divided. The profit accordingly, they will earn more. We do not currently dilute shares. If we are going to take more expensive essentials now, like food, fuel, and other important items, tools, for example, and additionally, we will register a separate fund in Russia too. Russian investors will have to pay a lot of taxes and various other taxes right away. Much money will go into regulation. Furthermore, and in fact, people will simply be to receive just less money, that's all. And we have for the implementation of the project, sorry that I am taking time to respond, we have a project to implement. And so there is always a lack of money. The project we have is cool, been several times, changed right in the process, became more expensive, and not only because the pandemic happened... It has become bigger? ...than he thought. Grew larger than I thought it would be right, absolutely. Therefore, today, like as Dmitry Alexandrovich says, you know, every penny, every ruble that is above, the plan comes in, it certainly becomes golden. That's how it is. It was indeed unwise to come up with, from our point of view, those investors who believed in it, like, and it was foolish for the organizers and initiators of the project to create the tool, who does not care about this. Therefore, it was made, it is absolutely legal. In such a situation currently happening in the world, at, for some reason, investors from around the world are more inclined to invest in us. Money into a company that is registered offshore. Then the money comes from there to Russia, offshore. Naturally, he wrote about the offshore. He immediately and clearly saw that the founder, some... Solar Group Limited is registered in Vanuatu. Indeed, this is already outdated information. This is an offshore zone. It's a lack of trust. No, they do not publish reports. And almost certainly suing them is practically impossible. There are cool network companies operate around the world is wonderful. And the same Donald Trump, whom some love, some do not. In response to the question of what he would like to do in life, if, if he had a second chance, he would conditionally say that if, if I absolutely had to do everything from scratch, indeed he would find it. A cool network company and would build a business there. Why network? Because there are no restrictions you can to earn if all the money in the world. So if we start publishing this now, everything, this may stop many investors and they will say, guys, you have very expensive money. You pay a lot to partners back and forth. They will start giving advice on all. But I have a better marketer. Lawyer accountant, better, cheaper. We have 70,000 investors, can you imagine? That is to say, this is absolutely conscious. I may be mistaken about this. That's right, but it is so. That is, in order to avoid the influence of... Listen. Let's imagine a chat of mothers from a kindergarten group. There are about a few more mothers participating. The same thing happens 20 people up to... battles are raging in the blood, and there are 70,000 people here. I agree with you. It would be just like that. That's right. Perhaps this has already become a cliché expression, evening, that there are a large number of examples where investors have certainly somehow brought down more than one fund with their advice. Moreover, to further polish the reporting, it needs to be and refined, to conduct in a certain way, also costly. Many haters still tell us you have there. The contract states you should go to the court in Britain and litigate. But you wrote it specifically so that it would not be possible. People also do not simply delve into the situation. Well, like in a British court, that's normal. Know someone investing $500 there, or approximately a thousand or so, and lives in Saratov, he does this. It absolutely won't happen, that's clear, even if in Moscow. And whoever invests $10,000 will be overwhelmed, and online they will find how to take on risk. It will be easier to do this in court. It is much easier in Britain than in court in Moscow. We have a large number of companies, indeed, even with state participation. The contracts specify the court of Britain because it cannot be transferred. A court session like ours, the court there is not as biased as it might appear. The opinion of entrepreneurs like ours indeed, and so on and so forth. It is much easier to litigate there. That is, all you really need is just the internet. And don't know, 
English knowledge in order to hire a lawyer. That is, certainly, this is the best popular one, an option for investors from all over the world. Well, naturally, of course, he went over the technology. He writes that if the inventor had come up with a technology that will increase production efficiency by at least 1%, for such technology, all companies in the world fought to the point of losing blood as business, always looks for ways to increase profitability. How is it that Dmitry Alexandrovich has spent his entire conscious life? Life was heading towards gathering money and resources from. The people could finally bring the idea to life, indeed, if only. He whispered softly somewhere in some way as it usually is. Happens, forums, festivals and so on, such as, and some major. A businessman, an investor, if only a large company knew, of course. She would buy everything including the innards. This is not true. Why? Because people definitely engage in what is worth it, money, rather than what is more effective. They dream of combining the windings together, or dreamed at one time, they're still literally 20 years ago, just about almost everyone involved in development, energy-efficient electric motors, but came to the conclusion that it is impossible to do this in one way or another, or in some other fashion. In one case, it is perhaps even too complicated and it is impossible to multiply, to create large-scale production. In another case, it is simply ineffective. It is currently about both parallel and series connection. Also BBC Mint, so on they have patents combined windings, they were unable to implement them. This is just the answer for you right away. What if they would perhaps indeed be engaged in it? They were engaged in this, they spent on it. Tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars. Get their skepticism. And they just couldn't do it. First succeeded. The uncle from Zelenograd succeeded. Yes, that's right, the first one. And it is easy to verify that at, he managed to do it, but no one wants to. He explained in one of his videos that on, in fact, what he actually eventually managed to realize in, life often overrides what is written in some textbooks. Corrects the theory that was meticulously and painstakingly written a hundred years ago. It's clear why because this theory was written when there was no historical context and background information. Another question to which it is currently applied. Yes, but there are haters who write on YouTube. Hello, I am a physicist, I am an engineer, what are you talking about? Open page 68, and there are people who explain that knowledge is hearsay. This is absolutely something that cannot be applied. You may have absolutely wonderful encyclopedic knowledge, but you, you won't be able to survive in the field even if you know how why I have never tried. If you haven't tried it, you don't understand how to do it. And you will never be able to distinguish the mistake in theory and understand why it doesn't work. Where is the ordinary person who does not know the theories? But encountered, spent the night in the field like he, I would understand where the mistake was and figure it out. That is, everything is actually very simple. Dmitry Sanik has told many times, as he often does, on the theory of the magnetic field, rotating as it is in many instances described in textbooks and that he imagines it in his mind, differently, that allowed him to take certain additional important, necessary, and crucial steps. And again, here is a person saying that if only there, at least approximately 1% could be increased, that's all. If they were to buy it, for some reason, no one at Sovelmash would arrived. Not a protocol was protested. There are examples of a huge number of people do not pay attention when large companies buy out. Smaller tech companies are gradually closing these projects. But the big guys, apparently these large companies and corporations, they do not invest in Sovelmash, writes our blogger. Most likely because there are working technologies and there are not. They invest. This year, there are certainly only investments in approximately $400,000, in $600,000. There is nothing at present on the company's website or on the internet. Confirmed information that the electric motor from Sovelmash consumes significantly less energy than any other engine. What mean engines from Sovelmash? What are Sovelmash engines? What are engines? Well, yes, they're Technot engines. Technot engines. These engines are made by the same... With Siemens, they are most certainly not Solmage. They were produced by Siemens, ABB, and someone else, and possibly others. Solmage updated them to his tech so that, look, guys, here are the extremely detailed test protocols from Siemens before it was literally rewound. And we compare them in detail with their indicators, they say. They even differ in their stitching. And regarding this fact, by the way, there are entrepreneurs in Russia which ultimately won the lawsuit having the conclusion in hand. Expert opinion on the laboratory at Sovelmash. 
That is, it turns out that the courts recognize us, that the laboratory in Sovelmash exists and is certified, a government body. But this comrade is not present. Let's go over it once more, Dwinov, and... Sovelmash does not make engines. There are technologies... Making and producing are also different things. If you simply need to make an engine to test it, for example. They use tech. Of course, they are prototyping and will produce installation units, parties and so on, but it is not created. Production, but an engineering company, and not a single hater mentioned this. One could say that Sovelmash doesn't produce anything at all, and that is true. They have indeed been certainly, undoubtedly, and consistently attracting investments for ten years, although it's actually not ten years at all, in fact. And to say that this is an engineering company, ready, to create extremely highly advanced and innovative means of production for these energy-efficient and sustainable electric motors, to develop any model of asynchronous electric motor in the world, you the essential and vital means of production and put them on. In your production, no one is talking about either, said that they cannot do this. They really don't talk about it at all. Because Dmitri Sanich really hyped up the motor wheel very much. He made an asynchronous motor wheel. In other words, people were really amazed. It was truly cool. Those who understand what it is about, understands there are motor wheels the Chinese have made. So far, if you Google it, the surname Dwinov will be next to the first motor wheel. Right, yes. It was such an interesting hype. And few understand what the matter is. Not in the wheels, but what Dmitri Sanich showed the technology in this way. That even an asynchronous motor can be built this way. Thanks to the simple fact that you connect the windings like this, not otherwise. I see the sign for Sovelmash just in Alabishevo. We do not indeed produce the motor wheel. You know, it is possible that they will start producing, but again, possibly some initial batches for that, so that the customer can fully and finally pay for the order, in a manner that is comprehensive and complete. Seeing that here are the means of production, here are those... Documentation for production? Here is the installation batch, please. Now you can produce everything. Sovelmash may even potentially have to possibly produce some products to successfully and efficiently produce its own on the market in order to provoke manufacturers to start working with Sovelmash. This is also a completely normal story, literally, because to gently and confidently pull someone out of their comfort zone in order to encourage them to explore new opportunities. An innovative entrepreneur who manufactures electric motors. It needs to be, by the way, do you recommend this? In Sovelmash, or they are going their own way, and you just support them. Dmitri and Sergei Alexandrovich, great. They communicate, respect each other, and build joint plans and aspirations for the future. So that's how it is here, as you can clearly see. Webinar every week? Every week, approximately the same questions arise. But still, they keep constantly and repeatedly bombarding you with questions in the chat. How about you not be with us? Attract new investments? You must first prove it to us. We invested in Sovelmash. It's actually quite a really normal topic indeed if you detach it. From the undeniable and evident fact that we are in the market and that capitalism, it would definitely be cool, of course, if it were outside. I would definitely also like to receive money in Sovelmash as well, and part of it to transfer to other projects, because that when I receive money in Sovelmash, I, I don't know, airship will need money. What stage will be in the dirigible? Well, it's unclear. I can perceive this as a missed opportunity. People can be understood, but from the perspective of what we... We need to implement this project here today. It is necessary. Act as one certainly has to act. This is absolutely justified and meticulously calculated mathematically. From the point of view, generally speaking, it was done with good intentions. We wanted to finish in three, approximately years at $40 million. There was a specific plan, an understanding it was a forecast. But you already said it yourself today that the project was then less ambitious. Back then there was no COVID, back then there was no SVO. The situation has now changed, the project, it has become more expensive for us, it has dragged on. Moreover, there are absolutely all objective data and materials on the website. They can be found in support unsearched. There is a roadmap. Shows how much money is being raised. How money is being raised. There are absolutely all materials. There are video materials featuring Dmitry Alexandrovich where he says there's money, sufficient for this project. And we are not stopping the funding, as it's unprofitable. That is, right now the money that is at present coming in. In today's world, what we are witnessing is a transformation where they are gradually evolving into entities that are primarily focused on commercial activities and profit-making. Increased commercial value. The enterprise is doing very well. Any equipment that is currently... It is currently being purchased. It is being acquired for extremely beneficial activities. I apologize again that we are once more... We break into the air and interrupt this interesting...
a podcast, but here's what I thought. How did we literally leave this video without even a giveaway? Let's conduct it. Just recently, there was an event in Nove, the council, when they showed the initial prototype of the airship. They wondered what would be in it, but they still haven't come up with a name. Let's choose a name. I will absolutely give away a gift for the most interesting one. Of course, the branded hoodie with the airship. Leave your comments and feel free to share your thoughts under this podcast. And already in the next shoot, which is happening very soon, I will announce the winner. Enjoy the rest of your viewing. But it turns out that Dmitry Alexandrovich himself, Sovelmash, Sovelmash, they don't need to be spent right now, at this very specific moment in time. They are going into the budget. No, no, you just need to spend, of course. The more frequently Dmitry comes now, Alexandrovich spends more. So what exactly is the real benefit for investors? It's just that the one who came first and laid it there. A pile of money he knows he has. A huge number of shares, expensive shares, not cheap ones, that are currently... Yes, he waited seven years. Their value is different. Which now... Yes, but he waited seven years. Understandable. Well, this is a big difference. It is very profitable to get in now because you... Next year, you will sell the company's shares. You're coming in for a short time, understand. Good all. Right now... The situation is that the PKTB is being launched. This is the most unique situation, the absolutely coolest on the market. Because I say again, certainly indeed, first of all, Sovelmash invests money in the most promising areas right now. The specific equipment on which he will do something that will indeed bring immediate good profit. He gets what is needed now. Military Technical Forum once again, on which Sovelmash was Sovelmash, in response to this hater, has made it to the top of its technologies. There are definitely some really cool companies there, and as one investor said, said, how exactly do you perhaps envision this? They said to Kalashnikov, move over, come here, are we going to supply Sovelmash? This is impossible. There were a lot of really cool companies there. And same time in the top ten, several developments from Sovelmash have come up again. This indeed says something. So, certainly, indeed, undoubtedly, Sovelmash, after such, things have serious contacts. We get the construction permit. We start doing commercial. I hear how already. Investors are exactly commenting on when the funding will close. Question. I don't understand investors. I don't get people. They want to close the funding now. Why? Well, that's definitely not profitable. Why? Because we will not buy more. Necessary additional equipment for some things. Are we staying longer? No, we won't stand still. In this case, we will likely conditionally earn next year. Either approximately a hundred million dollars or five hundred. Do you like understand? But this depends not how long the funding will not be closed. It really depends on how much money actually comes in. Of course, if a person were to come in, hypothetically speaking, just at this very moment, right now with millions of dollars, ten, then no more money will be needed. We will close the funding tomorrow. Dmitry Alexandrovich will say, all right, okay, it will be easier us. Why work so much? They say work less. We won't be buying more. There is additional equipment, perhaps, or maybe something else. We already have the necessary money to get started. We are closing the financing. Do people, like, maybe get the shares faster? No, they won't get it any faster. Transformation. We will close the funding. It won't happen any faster. That is, we have a certain path. We need to obtain the documents about that as soon as possible now. We're not a construction site. Put the building into operation and subsequently purchase the land. Under it, begin the transformation into a joint stock company. The company to issue securities such as stocks and bonds. And this will happen regardless of whether... The funding will close a month earlier or a month later. But ultimately, indeed, actually, the value of your shares will depend. It strongly depends on what equipment will arrive. In Sovelmash, not it is disproportionate. How many more investors joined? Sovelmash got an extra million dollars. Conditionally, you have become million more expensive. No, it has become a hundred million more expensive. It is profitable now. It's good for old timers. New ones are coming in. Now they will say that you seven five hundred percent return. Yes, I really think so. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think so. Do I guarantee it will be like this? Yes, no. Literally anything can happen. Am I correct that you would not? I wanted the funding to be secured, but to this. Everything in motion, logical conclusion near. In fact, indeed, these are two ordinary and typical parallels. Two sides, Sergei Shevchenko. Not two sides, one side. In fact, as a matter of fact, and indeed, these are two parallel. Actions that go in one direction, indeed, in fact, 
We just need to talk a little more about it then. There is no point in closing the funding at this particular moment now. The more we attract now, the better. For now it is possible to... We will earn in geometric progression. Yes, 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 because everything is bigger. The valuation of the enterprise for... The account of this will certainly and undoubtedly simply be much larger. But with this money, if we are definitely going to... Attract, spend less, and give back? The match more, then, of course, we will close it earlier. These things do not contradict each other. They just absolutely sound like you shouldn't close them. Funding? But we want to close it as soon as possible. Distribution of identity. No, it's not an identity giveaway. It's certainly, indeed, really, absolutely fine if you actually figure it out. Marketing such things does not actually like... Does not like saving money. This has happened many times already. Check right after. As soon as you start saving on... In marketing, the entire project actually becomes more expensive because fewer funds attracted, deadlines extended, and, and so on. In this situation, Dmitry Alexandrovich Dwinov is with us. I have already said the funds for the launch are for KTB. Yes, and everything that is currently being transmitted to Sovolmash is only included in our gold fund. There is an opportunity, of course, to try to save more right now, to transfer to Sovolmash, to try to ensure that those investors, those who are undoubtedly coming in now, they helped as much as they could. Faster more money can be transferred specifically to Sovelmash. By the time of closing the financing... By the way, another such lever of assistance is... This is what is made possible by the opening and launch. The new project Next Generation Airships involves numerous expenses, which are duplicated in one and the other. The project has now simply been transferred to the dirigibles wallet. That is, please tell me about what... What level are pre-launches at now, exactly, in terms of progress at this moment, precisely, currently, at this point in time? Tell me exactly how much money you managed to save. Sovelmash, thanks to the opening of airships. Here, of course, it is necessary to simply rely on accounting. I have no relation to her, but by my estimates, what I personally believe that already over approximately $100,000 have gone to Sovelmash. What exactly, perhaps, important expenses were eliminated? I don't know exactly where it is currently located at this very particular moment. There is a certain plan. Transfer the employees of Solar Group for salaries in another project in order to, moreover, so that more money goes to Sovelmash again. I know that the percentages are certain enough. Impressive investments in the dirigible are being significantly transferred. Sovelmash now. What is its current state that it is unclear what can be realized from this. Well, the project is two months old. Everything is indeed just beginning there now. The guys are absolutely doing a great job, so the project dirigibles. You've raised this issue correctly now. Him right now, just two months ago, launched specifically to do as much as possible, to close the financing of Sovelmash more quickly. Yes, please, save, save. Because due to the maintenance of the personal account, the money is being transferred with Sovelmash in the project, from one project in... Another project funds come and transfer employees to the necessary additional locations and departments. Salaries there, that is, they reduce the expenses that were on the project with Sovelmash. This is very cool, this is very timely. The champagne can be opened right now. On November 16th, tell what will happen on Nosy. On November 16th, there will be a very important reporting meeting in Moscow, where the project will report to the key investors Everyone is indeed currently focused on making this the opening of the enterprise. We'll see what the future holds. Here you go, haters. Feel free to stomp on this. It's the truth. For this, we can be criticized. However, we do not know if we will open the enterprise by that time or not. There are objective reasons. We are currently undergoing state inspections, and we may have to correct some shortcomings again. Which they constantly find in such unexpected places. Yes, yes, it exists. As Dmitry Alexandrovich says, the enterprise becomes better because of it. This is good advertising for the enterprise. Indeed, that is why we want to... to invite as few stars as possible who truly deserve it right now, at this moment. Last year, we actually had people who deserved it coming to such an event at the expense of Solar Group. Individuals who attract millions of dollars to the project from abroad. But we do not know what might happen here, what might happen in Indonesia tomorrow, or somewhere else. The more strong countries involved in the project, the more confidence there is that everything will be fine. This year we decided to move away from that and minimize expenses for the event. Whoever comes, comes. Make your own way to welcome. Yes, indeed, welcome. 
Therefore, it's hard to say who will come. We are also aiming to launch the Next Generation Airships project. Will you remain as involved in the new project as you were in the old one? Will you stay in touch? That's indeed a very exceptionally good question. I would really, definitely like to participate in all the projects that Solar Group will allow me to join. We are looking forward to the special machines. Next year. We are looking forward to other projects from Solar Group. The airship project is very interesting overall. It turned out very unexpectedly that among the investors in Russia, including many who did not join Solmash but are observing and know the Solar Group team, for example, they were talking. They said, wow, are you serious? So, at the opening of your first conference, did a representative from NAMI speak? Are they really going to actually make a gondola under the Aorus brand? And will it be gold? Seriously? For real? And how can one participate? Is it true? When people start to realize that the first LNG does not necessarily have to be built now, it is already possible to start working not from scratch, as there are already developed fabrics and interesting materials that, let's say, do not exist in the world, but are available in Russia. That's how it has turned out. People are really getting excited, saying, wow, everything has come together here. Let's see. The main thing is that my health allows it, because I entered this project 15 kilograms lighter, or how should I put it, 15 kilograms ago. And now this is significantly affecting my health. I often have to spend 16 hours a day at the computer, Sometimes I can't even manage to get away from the computer on weekends. It's difficult, and it may, of course, affect my participation in future projects, but I hope it won't. Yes, and who will find you a replacement? Who do you see as your right hand, your continuation? Who could be the second Sergei Shevchuev? In fact, we have many investors and partners who, if they wish, will do what I do even better than I do. Well, we have interesting people. In the club are a hundred project founders and thousands of early founders. There are, simply put, investors and very interested partners. There are many educated, interesting people who just lack the desire. If they definitely have this desire, they will do it. What I do is much better. I wish you a strong nervous system, good health, and to spend less time sitting at the computer. After all, Otherwise, I will come to you and conduct interviews to distract you from these matters. We will walk through... I won't say where you live, but there are pine trees growing there. I will be interviewing you there. By the way, there were some funny comments that... We shot the video with you in a rush, without a script. Well, try to take two hours from Sergei Shevchenko's working day, from his life. I will watch you, and I will applaud you standing if you manage to do that. It's true, we filmed in a rush. I later watched our footage, and I didn't even have time to change. I was sitting there in those dirty pants. And I was sitting in the football field yard because the person's phone was ringing off the hook. You see, we believe that the information we share with people is what matters, not how it is presented. Although in reality, we know that this is not the case. So now we made you come to this beautiful studio to answer questions, and even to sacrifice your working time. Well, you know, it's a day off, and that's really just great. Wishing you days off, along with a good income and a comfortable pension. We will definitely see each other. We will communicate. I had to leave Belgorod. I lived in Belgorod for the last 10 years, moved to Moscow. But due to the understandable situation, I had to leave again. I came to Moscow with my mom and the dog, so we will be in touch. Now you are more often, closer to the team, and you come to the webinars more frequently, and everyone is happy. Let's see how long they will last for us to observe. I wish you patience, success. Sergei Shevchenko joined us. You were with Yulia Shuskina. Goodbye, everyone.